Hey guys, Crewman here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to properly install your Radeon 9070 XT onto your computer. So, there's two things I want to talk about first. First is that there are two different kinds of models. There are going to be models with two 8 pins and models with three 8 pins. First, we're going to talk about the models with two 8 pins, and then we're going to talk about models with three 8 pins. Next is your recommended power supply. So, these things are weird, and some models have a TDP of 340, and some models have a TDP of 304 watts. Generally, you're going to want at least a 700 watt power supply, which is recommended. I would personally recommend that you get anything from a 750 to an 850. It just never hurts to be safe. If you're watching a video like this, then you have questions. And generally, when you don't know what you're doing, it's always better to overspec than to underspec. So those are the recommended power supply. I'll have a link down below to some of my favorite power supply companies. Okay, so after that's out of the way, let's focus on getting our GPU installed. So here's the first thing that you're going to want to do. You're going to want to just examine the GPU to make sure that there's no issues. You're going to want to pull this out. You want to make sure the PCIe is clean and just make sure that you have no issues right here. And we don't have any, so we're good to go. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to your computer. You're going to want to check the six pins, the PCIe cables. They'll say either VGA or PCIe on the side, depending on your power supply. You're going to want to check them to make sure that none of the cab none of the cables inside look funky or damaged. Uh, it's just something that you should always do, and thanks to the NVIDIA 5000 series being such a mess, it's brought more light to it. All right, so now that that's done, you're going to want to install the graphics card. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your PC is laying flat on the floor. This way, you don't want to install it. You don't want to install your graphics card sideways. That would be very, very bad. Generally, you're going to want to always install it this way. So now this is a test bench, so this is a little bit different than a normal PC. It's always flat on the floor, but the idea is the same. All right, so first we're going to take it. You're going to line it up with the PCIe slot. You're always going to want to put it in the top one just to be safe. You're going to hear a click. It's in. It may wobble a little bit, so you kind of want to hold it to prevent that. And then you're going to want to screw it in. I always recommend since this is a two slot card you're going to want to screw on both screws because you're going to want to make sure that this thing does not move and it's tight right now remember this is a test bench so normally the screws don't look like this this is designed to be removed more often than you would be on your normal pc okay so you see it's in so here's the next thing you're going to want to check if there's two or three eight pins we've already discussed that all right so if there's two eight pins you are going to need two separate cables, two separate PCIe cables, basically like this. So you can see we've got two cables and neither one of them are daisy chained. So these are good to go. We're going to put this adapter on to simulate daisy chain. Some PCIe cables have one six to eight pin and some have two six to eight pin. Now the thing you do not want to do is you do not want to plug this one cable into both of them with a TDP of 204 watts and even if you have an eight to eight pin PCIe, your max power is 288 watts. Even if we include the fact that you will get 75 watts from the motherboard, you have a good shot at taking this cable too close to the edge and it could start a fire. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're only gonna wanna use one of these and not the second one. And then you're gonna wanna use another one because you're gonna need two separate PCIe cables to safely plug this in. So let's go ahead and show you how to do it. All right, so it's super simple. There's nothing crazy. You don't have to pre-bend cables or anything since these are just your standard PCIe 6 to 8 pin or 8 to 8 pin. You're just going to find where the tabs line up, pre-seat it, and put it in. You'll hear a click. And then again for the next one, one in, you're going to hear a click. All right, so now you can see that it is successfully installed, and that's it. And like I said, you're going to want to notice that one of these is not being installed. You, know, you can zip tie it back or do whatever you need to do. But this is a successful installation. And one other thing you're going to want to make sure is just that you have a flush connection on the cables that are connecting to the GPU. And that's it. You are good to go. So if you have a 2 8 pin 9070 XT, congratulations. And that's it. So if this video helped, please make sure you like and subscribe. So now if you have three connectors on the GPU like I do, you have two options. The first is you can have three individual 6 to 8 pin or 8 to 8 pins, or you can have one individual and you can daisy chain two of them.
Normally you wouldn't be able to daisy chain if it only had two eight pin connectors, but since it has three, and it's basically the, the three long story short is just designed for people who want to BIOS mod or shove a lot more power through this GPU than is required. And that is something that you do not have to worry about in this video. You can actually daisy chain. So if you have three, you can take one six to eight pin or eight to eight pin, and you can take another one and you can either plug an adapter in like so, and then you can use another cable that has daisy chains. Now, since this is a beginner video, I would not recommend using an adapter like this. I would make sure that one of your PCIe connectors just looks like this. I'm just using this adapter for the purposes of this video and because I know what I'm doing. All right, so let's show you how to do this. So first what you'll do is you'll take this one, the single one, and then you'll plug it into the first connector like so. And then you'll take the other two and you'll plug the first one in and the second one in. You need to have all three of these plugged in so that the, the GPU will turn on and the computer will turn on, but you don't need to have three separate cables as you're not generating enough power on this GPU to cause an issue. So now you can see we've got one daisy chain and one non-daisy chain. So normally, if you've watched my videos before, you know I'm not a fan of the daisy chain, but I think in this instance, it is just fine, especially since there are models that actually only come with two connectors. So that's it for this one. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you have any other questions, drop them in the comments down below. I will answer them as best I can. I don't know whether you'll be watching this video a week after filmed or two years after it's filmed, but all of the relevant data will stay the same. Drop a comment, and like I said, I'll try to respond. That's it. See you later on the next one. Peace out.